Okay, Pat Robertson. Pat Robertson was asked about video games and, and, and role-playing games and strategy games. And he says, <laughs> this is just so crazy, that Dungeons & Dragons is demonic and has literally ruined people's lives. Uh, th you can't make this stuff up. You just really can't. Here's Pat Robertson. I want to ask for your opinion. Is it safe for a Christian to enjoy video games that have magic in them <laughs> if the person playing the games is not practicing the magic? Right. Um... I think, you know, the idea is not how close can I get to danger, but uh, how far away can I stay from it? I don't know what game you're talking about. I know there's one called Dungeons and Dragons that literally <laughs> destroyed people's lives. I mean, they got into this thing and they were almost, it was like demonic. Um, I don't know what game you're talking about, but if it's based on magic and the occult and that sort of thing, stay away from it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's heard about this thing, Dungeons and Dragons, which has destroyed people's lives. Mm -hmm. What, did their, did their uh, figurine get knocked off of the table? I mean, how can it destroy people's lives? Uh, good question. I don't think he could tell you because he doesn't actually know anything about it. But, right. I mean, if, if you want to listen to Pat Robertson, pretty much all you can play is like, um, you know, Boggle. <laughs> Oh. No, because couldn't you make a word, like, couldn't you make the word magic, and then that could ruin your life? Oh, right. Hey, when I was a kid, I played this video game, true story, called XCOM, uh, XCOM Apocalypse. You remember that game, Lewis? Yeah. Hell of a game. And they actually had to bring in, my family had to bring in a Catholic exorcist to rid me of demons. And it was weird, not only because I thought I was fine, but because my whole family is Jewish. I was like, why, why do we have a <laughs> Catholic exorcist here? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And then, uh, and then they deleted the game, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Hey, when you pl when you used to play, you've talked about when you played Warcraft, right? Mm -hmm. When you played Warcraft, were you worried that you may have been infested with evil spirits? Like, did you choose a specific character type, like the the goblin or the healer, based on which was the least evil in your mind? Hmm. You know what? I I actually did pick the ones that were considered less evil. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You have to like choose a side. Yeah. And in one one is very clearly like the grotesque evil creatures and yeah. the other is like the more normal ones. Mm -hmm. I chose the the more normal I ones. I think you did the right thing. You didn't end up having to have an exorcism. The side of light. Yeah. Of good. All right, let's take a break. DavidPackman.com slash membership. Please become a member. We've got some great benefits and it's the number one way this program stays on the air. We'll take a break. Next we'll talk to constitutional law professor Adam Winkler. A lot to discuss. Stay with us. Glad you're here today. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.